There's a massive problem with your design workflow, and not just yours, it's mine, it's everybody's. And this problem is limiting us from getting buy-in from stakeholders and from clients and being seen as super valuable as a designer in your team or your organization. This problem is twofold. Problem number one, it takes far too long to get from nothing to something. That blank canvas, that empty frame in Figma is not only uninspiring and difficult to overcome, it is tedious to build something from absolutely nothing. Problem two is that static mockups are not great at showing intent and they're not great for developer or for stakeholder handoff. When you provide static mockups, they raise a lot of questions. What happens when I click this button? What does it look like on mobile? What about the different states when something happens? All of this slows down the process and limits you from getting the buy-in you need to move forward with the project. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways to leverage Figma Make to supercharge your workflows and get through that process quicker to get the buy-in that you need. Let's say that you already have a design. You've done some work, you've overcome that blank canvas like we do here inside of our Figma project. I have an e-commerce template and I would love to get buy-in for this cart or checkout flow. Now this flow comes with tons of issues. It has logic, it has variables that are required, interactivity, and it's gonna take me a long time to create the variables, prototype this whole thing to get stakeholder buy-in. I need to fast forward this process and I can use Figma Make to do it. All I have to do is come up here and actually command or control C, copy the frame in question. I'm gonna come over and start a new Figma make file and then I can just paste that frame directly into Figma make and I can tell it to create a functional prototype with logic and interactions, something like that, and tell Figma Make to go ahead and do its thing. And just like that, Figma Make has created a prototype of my design. Is it perfect? By no means is it perfect. It has some spacing issues. It has some kind of layout issues, but my inputs are interactive. I can click on those. I get hover states for my buttons and my navigation, and I can also increase and decrease the quantity of items and see the math change over here. While I can also delete elements and I got toast notifications. I can either tweak this design by simply coming in and selecting specific items and telling it to sort out the spacing like this. I could prompt directly here or do some styling changes. All of that is fair game. Or I can just share this prototype and get at least initial buy-in from my clients or my stakeholders. And just like that, we've gotten to the interactive part fast. Now method number one is great, but it requires me to at least have something on the canvas to work with and it speeds that process up and gets me to interact a prototype for buy-in and that's fantastic. But what about the blank canvas? What if I want to power through that and just get buy-in really, really quick before I even push a single pixel? Well, in this method, we're going to take a product requirement document, a PRD. It's just a description of what my design is, what the functionality should be. A quick overview, some details about the layout structure, the width, the columns. I have header information, breadcrumb card sections, uh, left column displaying everything that needs to be there, as well as laid out things like the visual style and the functional behavior, states and variations, responsive behavior, accessibility. I've talked about some of the technical implementation notes. And what I want to do is just grab this entire PRD that I've written. I want to come over to Figma in a fresh Figma make document or file. I'm going to paste that entire messy PRD into my prompt box here and I'm just going to click go. That's going to allow Figma Make to think through all of the descriptions that I've added here in the PRD and it's going to do the work for me. It's pushing the pixels. It's doing the design work. I've already done the creative direction, the art direction and some of that UX design thought work inside of that PRD. Now let's let Figma Make do the making. Now within just a few minutes, Figma Make has provided actually kind of a better version of my prototype. That PRD was very, very detailed and now it is free of any sort of issues. You'll notice back in my first attempt where I took my Figma board or my frame and uploaded it, I had spacing issues, I had layout issues, it didn't work well inside of mobile. But by uploading that detailed PRD, I got a much more close or accurate version 
of my prototype here. You can see that all the functionality works here. The totals are changing. I can delete items. All my hovers and my buttons work. My states are functional. Everything's looking and feeling really, really good. But the benefit here is that it also looks really good on mobile right out of the gate, which is a super nice thing to have. Let's just refresh this document so it puts it back in its initial state. From here, again, I can just share this. I can grab that link or I can even publish this to a staging domain and send that domain out to my stakeholders or clients, ask them to review it. They'll be able to play with it. And it only took me a couple of minutes. Now you might be saying to yourself, yeah, that all sounds great, but if I send this prototype to my clients or stakeholders and they approve it, then what do I do with it? It's stuck inside of Figma Make. I have to constantly be prompting things back into existence to make this thing scale or add new screens. And I would say to you, no, 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 my friend, you don't have to do that because Figma Make has recently introduced the ability to actually come up here to the top right-hand side and I can copy the entire design. So let's copy this design. It's copying everything as design layers, I can come back into my original design or an empty document and all I have to do is paste right here and we have the designs sitting here ready for me in design layer, auto layout applied, ready for me to start working. I want the mobile, sure. I'm gonna come in here and click over to mobile. I'm gonna grab those designs as well, copy the layers and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna paste those right next to it. Now we have our mobile version. And just like that, we started with nothing but a PRD, with requirements, with an idea, with creative direction. And yes, I did have the privilege of knowing exactly what I wanted my design to look like. If you don't have that, you might have to put a little bit more thought work into it, but that's the way things are going. Designers are gonna be thought leaders. They're not just gonna be pixel pushers. They're gonna be creative directors, people who are directing the designer or the technology to do this work and actually execute on our vision. This was my vision. I turned that vision in the back of my mind into this and I uploaded this into Figma Make and it gave me this. And again, this Figma Make is not limited by its own file. I can always bring it back into a design file and keep working. So if I wanna start adding textiles, color styles, if I wanna add more elements here on the screen, if I wanna change the order of these from the maybe the left column to the right column. I can do all of that inside of the design file without any limitations. Well, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Are you gonna leverage tools like Figma Make to go from nothing to something? Does it terrify you? Are you excited about it? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you know when more videos on Figma, Figma Make and agentic workflows come out. With all that being said, we will see you in the next one, Design Champs.